Hey there. Okay, two things. One, this video is kind of a continuation of my video called February 26, 1987. So if you want to get background, I'll make this video a response to that one. You can watch the first video. Number two, I've kind of hesitated to do this video because I don't want to embarrass the girl who's the subject of it. I'm going to call her Jane. If anyone from my high school watches this, they might know who she is and it could be embarrassing, but to be honest, I'm probably the one who will wind up being most embarrassed by this. And the reason why is, as you might guess from the title, from the whole subject of this thing is, in high school, in my junior year, I fell for a girl who had a mustache. And hey, hey, don't get me wrong, this didn't look like a man or anything. She was, she was a, she's an attractive girl, you know. You couldn't, couldn't always see the mustache, you know, only, you saw it straight on, no mustache, but when she turned, when the light hit it, yeah, you could see the mustache, and yes, she had more facial hair than I did, I mean, I didn't have to shave every day till I was 24, so yeah, alright, whatever. The point is, <coughs> it's kind of embarrassing that I fell for her, um, once again, she was attractive, Qu quite attractive, you know, she was... You know, she was tall, you know, you know, had a nice set, straight, light brown hair. She had these beautiful green eyes that were accentuated by these, accentuated by these big, round glasses. And when I think about the shape of her face, I realize now that she looked a lot like Maria Sharapova, if Maria Sharapova had a mustache. You know, so if you want to picture her, yeah, take Maria Sharapova, make her hair a little bit more brownish, give her big round glasses and a mustache. <laughs> I mean, come on, what guy wouldn't be turned on by that? So yeah, you know, the embarrassing part though is how it all went down. Um, I was kind of getting over the girl I talked about in the last video. I'd been obsessed with her for 17 months. And Jane comes along and asks me to be her computer partner in this computer class we're taking together. And I stupidly think, well, I've never noticed this girl before, but hey, she wants to be my partner. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, she must dig me. And so you get it in your head, and next thing you know, you find yourself putting her on a pedestal, forgetting about things like she has a mustache, and you wind up being attracted to her when you really weren't before. And that's how that, that all happened. Um, yeah, and there's all sorts of other details, but um, <coughs> suffice to say, um, I became more and more attracted to her, and, and I thought, oh, she digs me and all this kind of stuff, which wasn't the case. And it got to, like, May 15th of that particular year, and I wrote her like a sappy poem and I bought her a carnation. They were having a carnation sale and I had it sent to her and kind of told her how I felt and yeah, this this did not work out, um, wasn't attracted to me and said I was like a cousin to her, oh, whoopee doo and yeah, yeah, I guess it was a good step forward and a good rite of passage for me but Ultimately, I was quite disappointed at the time. I felt kind of stupid and silly. But what made it worse is that the computer course wasn't over yet. There were still a month and a half to go where we had to sit together every day and work together. And, you know, professional about it. We did fine in the class and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, it was... Uh, it was awkward. It was awkward. And it got more awkward as it went into the summer and I couldn't accept that she wasn't interested in me and I wrote her notes and all love letters and oh god and yeah so eventually she told me just to buzz off in a nice way, in a nice letter complimenting me and all that but yeah she basically said look you're, you're nut job, not in so many words but yeah buzz off. Still trouble accepting it until ironically enough I saw her with the first boyfriend she had after she rejected me. and Actually, it didn't really hit me then. A few months later, I saw the next boyfriend she had. So after I'd seen two of her boyfriends, I noticed something. Both these guys had 
pretty big mustaches. And that's, you know, kind of rare for a guy in high school. And that's when I was over her. That's when I could accept it, because then I realized the truth. And the truth was, she would never even think of going out with me. And why? Because she could never respect a man who had less facial hair than she did. In any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.